Epinephrine is commonly known as adrenaline. It is a chemical that narrows blood vessels and opens airways in the lungs and it can reverse severely low blood pressure. Epinephrine is secreted mainly by the adrenal glands in the medulla and it functions primarily to increase cardiac output and to raise blood glucose levels. Epinephrine is normally released during acute stress. It prepares an individual for the fight or flight which is why it is a primary medication for non-perfusing cardiac arrests. Epinephrine is a sympathomimetic which is used to stimulate alpha and beta adrenergic receptors. Once given, the myocardial and cerebral blood flow is enhanced during CPR and this means that CPR is more effective due to the increased peripheral resistance which will improve the perfusion pressures. Other times adrenaline is used is to reverse the allergic manifestations in acute anaphylaxis. It's also used to relieve bronchospasm in acute and severe asthma despite nebulisation therapy. Epinephrine usually comes in pre-filled syringes or ampules containing one milligram of epinephrine in one milliliter which is a one to one thousand or one milligram of adrenaline in ten milliliters which is a one in ten thousand dilution. The main contraindications is not to give repeated doses of adrenaline in hypothermic patients. Severe hypertension could occur in patients that are on non-cardioselective beta blockers like propanolol. In CPR cases, epinephrine is administered with shockable rhythms after the third shock and then after alternative shocks, therefore after the third, fifth, seventh shock. With non-shockable rhythms, adrenaline is administered immediately after IV access is achieved, followed by alternative cycles. The dose will vary on the age of the patient, which one and the concentration you are administering, and it is administered intravenously or interosseously. With anaphylaxis and life-threatening asthma, epinephrine is administered in the anterior lateral aspect of the thigh.